What's up guys? So John here and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the stretch shortening cycle and how it applies to jumping. So basically the stretch shortening cycle is going to be when a muscle and tendon lengthen and then shorten very quickly. This is going to store and release energy. So the energy that is released is basically going to be a function of two things and that's going to be muscle contractile force and the elastic energy that is stored in the tendon. So elastic energy stored in the tendon can be developed a couple different ways. Probably one of the easiest ways to develop that is going to be plyometrics or things of that nature. So that could be skipping, hopping, bounding, sprinting. All of those are going to be elastic in nature and it's going to improve the ability of the tendon to efficiently return energy so that you can jump higher uh, or run faster. The other thing that's going to dictate that is going to be the force that you're able to generate in the muscle. So there are three contraction types, all of which are going to be important for jumping and sprinting. That's going to be eccentric, isometric, and concentric. So to develop the eccentric or our ability to yield and stop ourselves from decelerating down to the ground, we can do things once again like plyometrics. We can also do submaximal lifts such as a squat where we lower down very slowly. We could also use something called the K-Box where we can overload that eccentric portion because we're very strong in those types of muscle actions. We can also uh, develop our isometric strength which is going to help augment that process by helping us amortize better. Amortization is going to help us store and release energy more efficiently and ultimately improve our elasticity. So we can do that by utilizing pause squats. We can, we can utilize plyometrics once again. Sprinting is also going to develop that uh, ability and then we could also put in pin squats where you just basically try to move an immovable object. It would almost be like trying to push over an elephant. Uh, the last thing uh, that we can do is develop our concentric power. So to do this we could do things like a bottoms up squat where your bar is sitting on the pins and you just drive into it and stand up as hard as you can. You could do things like jump squats, uh, you could do Olympic lifts or their regressions, any of these are going to be good tools to develop that concentric force generating capacity. So all of those different uh, tools are going to help you improve your stress shortening cycle and then help you jump higher and obviously run faster as well. So thanks guys.